Hello, this is Steve from Beedos Leatherworks, and today's project is these pair of cool Alden shell cordovan chuckas. Now, overall, they're not in bad shape at all. They just need a little bit of a cleaning and conditioning. We uh, put some brass eyelets on here. Um, these are notorious for the eyelets of holes for the laces over time of use it gets starting to crack a little bit so these are kind of reinforcing the holes that um, hopefully it'll last longer now the gentleman purchased these used and um, somebody had done some sole guards and some heels and um, it was a DIY job it looks like especially at the French tips I mean you know I don't think I guess they gave it their best effort but it's not a very good job, unfortunately. So it's okay, though. What we're going to do, we're going to upgrade this a little bit. We're going to remove everything, and we're going to do day-night soles on these. And today's going to be a little short video, um, hopefully under 10 minutes. Um, we just want to kind of get in, finish the job, and, and move to the next one. And um, which um, this isn't going to be that much of a detailed project like I normally do. So I don't think it's going to take that long. All right, so let's get started. You guys hear that? Yeah, the crickets. My buddies are awake with me. Only crickets for me are awake this early. All right. So uh, let's tear this thing down. And most of the time I use the I reuse the heel base. The heel base is basically that that piece that is underneath the top lift, you see? Once again I'm going to the microphone to show you guys. God, I gotta get used to this thing. That piece is the heel base. Now the only problem is that this is paper. Fiberboard, compressed, recycled, whatever they call it. This is not leather. So we're gonna we're gonna remove that and replace it with leather heel heel base. I'll leave that there because we're gonna remove it anyway. Got this knife dirty earlier. I don't think it's gonna work too well. Now this has a midsole, which I'm going to reuse. I don't know why I'm so far from the camera. Alright, so we're going to reuse this piece right here. Alright. Cool. Let's continue. So this thing I've been reading about, ASMR. I mean, I, I read up on it just a little bit. I guess people are fascinated by the sound or soothing sound that they listen to. So I thought I'd try it for you guys. Maybe we should lower the microphone a little bit. All right, let's give it a try.
And that's what we call picking the stitches. All right, I hope that helped. Let's continue. We are back. You know, I forgot to show you guys the shanks that Alden uses. These are called three rib shanks, right? It's got three ribs right there. Very durable, very strong. It doesn't go anywhere. Great support for your feet. Now, people who travel, unfortunately, with the airport security, they don't like it. I've got some customers who, um, who travel a lot, and we've actually taken the metal shanks out and replaced them with fiberglass. Now, is that... Is that a better you know support very similar it's not too bad at least there's something there to to give it some support now I want to show you guys something whenever whenever I have a midsole shoe which means that you've got the welt this is a Goodyear welt welt midsole and the outer sole which looks like three layers okay what I do between the midsole and the sole is I cut a piece of fabric, right? This is just um, maybe a canvas. I believe it's a canvas. It could be something. It could be a nylon or a canvas. I'll glue that between the sole and the midsole. What this is going to do is that... <clears throat> It's not going to allow the sole and the midsole when it flexes when you're walking to squeak. Now most of the time leather to leather squeaks more. This is rubber to leather so it should be okay but uh, I just like to put it on there. Sometimes it's overkill I know but you know what I hate when jobs come back. Yes I have in the past. I'm not perfect, but it does happen. So here's a piece of fabric. So it basically just goes in the middle just like that. Okay. I think we glued the wrong sole in the other shoe. Oh, man. Wait. Did I just glue this one? Man, it is early. I haven't had my coffee yet. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, let's talk about something else, too. God, what is this? It's stuck to my finger. It's the Q-tip. The Q-tip thing, fuzz thing. I guess we had a little bit of a technical difficulty last time I was hammering. That's all right, I'll move away from the microphone while well, I won't hammer so hard. You guys are so technical, like, right? I can't even talk. You know, every time I, I read the comments, people like, Steve, microphone's too close to the hammer. Distortion there, eh? On on forty six oh ten time. <laughs> um, I laugh because it's funny. It's true. There was distorted last time. Hey, what are you gonna do? You know, it is what it is. It's all good. As long as the job gets done right, that's all that matters. That's all I matters. That's all it matters. Now, these are the heel bases, right? Again, these are paper. They're fiberboard. We replace them with leather. Now, there's a couple of different kinds of leather bases, okay? These are called leather stack heel bases. This comes in either 5 8 3 8 These are 5 8 There's three, la three layers there. And it's kind of concave like that because your heel is not flat. It's always curved a little bit. 
Now look, you know, I watch other guys who repair shoes too. And um, some people are, some people say, well, they're the only ones who can get this, who can get that. Which is, I think it's ridiculous. There's everything, there's a lot of things available in the market, okay? Before you go ahead and make a claim like that, you should really understand what you're talking about. This is JR Leather, okay? You simply put it together. Now you have a heel base. Exactly same height as the original manufacturer, which was one layer here and another layer on the inside. Once this comes together, you say on the inside you concave it a little bit like it's supposed to be, now you've got a JR heel base. Now, I'll go a little further. When manufacturers make these heel bases, okay, it's not top grade leather. Yes, even JR. Which JR is, is great leather. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's one of my favorites. I use it a lot. But with that said, even, even JR will use some of its lesser, I shouldn't say lesser quality, but they are different grades of leather. So they're not going to take that top grade they use for the soles and make heel bases out of it. They'll have some of the pieces left over and they'll they'll make heel bases. This is a big bin. This this leather piece usually comes in a big big piece like that. And some of my pieces get left over. Now these are top quality leathers, right? Because these are for the soles. And they're they're pretty heavy. So this is what I made my heel base out of. So is it better than the, the pre-made heel bases? my opinion it's a little bit more denser leather yes but nevertheless it is JR okay but to say that it's only available to certain people is, is not right I don't agree with that but the each is still on whatever So we're given this um, we're given this shoe here, a Jerry heel base. Oh, these see these shanks? It's, it's specialty made for me. Yeah, nobody could get that. Please, it's ridiculous. Oh, I forgot. Custom made Q tips will be available then. They're only made for Beto's Leatherworks. I can send you some of my used ones too. <laughs> All right, anyway. Let's continue. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you guys something. Now you know the shoe has a top thread and a bottom thread, right? So the shoes get stitched upside down like this. So we normally call this the bottom thread, which is in actuality on top. That thread, sometimes we do white stitches, which is that thread. And sometimes we do black stitches, which is that thread. Now, I have a machine that is set up for white and white, but I don't like that one more than this one, so sometimes I'll reverse the thread. So what are we doing here this close? We're going to basically change the thread out. Now, some people have a little difficulty times doing this, but it's really, really easy. This thread is a twisted thread, right? If you reverse it, it comes apart like that. Okay? So if you twist it this way, it's nice and tight. So basically, maybe I should turn this off real quick. Hold on. Better. 
So basically what you do, you grab the thread like this. You twist the white thread. When it opens up, you put the black right through the middle. You see? Now when you're here, you go ahead and braid it. It's a three three piece braid, it's not that difficult. Left over right, right over left, like that, and like this, like this and like that. Okay? Sometimes what I'll do, I'll I'll rub a beeswax on that joint right there so it kind of goes through the machine easily. And when you do that, press on the pedal, you pull the white thread. And as you're pulling it, the brakes. And now it's got the black thread on the machine set up. Okay, it's that simple. Th this thread here, this is the, well, we call this the top thread, which is the bottom of the shoe. This can be any color you want. I've got it set up for orange, but I'm going to change the red in a minute. All right, let's continue. And that's what we call outsole stitched. Now you see I've got grooves in the channel so the stitches can countersink itself. Some people don't, but I do I do it this way. Sometimes we get lucky we get in the same holes from the top. Don't forget that we had to pick the old stitches and the new stitches are in the place of the old. You never want to stitch on top of the old. We always try to clean it out. But again, everybody does it differently. But this is the proper way to do it. You have to remove the old stitches in order so it doesn't build up on the welt area. So it doesn't damage the welt. Once the welt is damaged, it's got to be replaced, which is more work, more money. All right, let's continue. This is a turpentine. I mean, it's an old uh, oil canister, right? But, God, I've, been, I've had that thing for I don't know how many years. 20, more than 30 years, probably. So what I do, basically, I just wipe this down. Because what happens, you know, the surface gets contaminated, right? With hand grease, um, dust, you know. So it's kind of good to just to wipe that down. Now, most of the time when you're doing rubber to rubber it's better to have that surface clean so you get a nice bond the leather I don't wipe it down with thinner because I just blow it blow the you know dirt out so that's what I'm doing on that now at this stage here we've got the top lift glued onto the base okay and I've got a little bit of red accent right there in the this is called the breast of the heel now it's just to match the red thread that I put on. It's no big deal. It's just aesthetics. And whenever I do blue thread, I'll do blue color. I mean, these are just little things that I do. It's not a big deal. It's it's nothing that it's nothing structural at all. It's just aesthetics. Again, I think it kind of looks cool.
this is the dry one this wasn't the one I just glued like I did with the sole you know what time it is have a time well not too hard you know just a little hammer time No, I'm not getting soft on you guys. Don't worry about it. I got this. I know when it's hammer hammer time, and I know when it's mini hammer time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm learning uh, YouTube as I'm <clears throat> as I'm going along. It's funny people usually do things differently. They'll they'll study it and then they'll get into it, right? I'm the opposite way I never really knew anything about YouTube except for videoing and I used to, I used to think it's called downloading but it's called uploading thanks to my viewers I appreciate you guys telling me that anyway so I looked at my I guess my stats or whatever you call it and it looks like 24% of my viewers subscribe to my channel 76% of the viewers don't subscribe. Now, why is that? I'm curious, right? Why don't you guys hit that that button, that little bell button, whatever subscribe button, and give me some more subscribers. This way I can make a little extra money on the side. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. That's a lot of people, man. 76% let's see so I've got 47,000 subscribers so if that's 25% let's just round it off 25% I mean I could have over 200,000 subscribers let's do it come on now help a brother out anyway I thought it was very interesting Okay, so we're going to do now, we're going to nail this heel base from the inside. Or maybe we're going to do it on the outside since there's holes here. Sand it, clean it, polish it up, and we're ready to go. All right, let's continue. Okay, we're almost done with our project. Putting lipstick on the shoe. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Look, if you can't laugh at yourself, what good is life about? You can't laugh, period. Come on, everybody's too serious. Lighten up. You think you got it bad, but man. A lot of people are worse off than you are. So you better appreciate yourself. My stomach is growling. Man. Now I'll wipe that excess red off the surface there, but you'll have little red dimples when I get done with it. Now. So what I do is... um. I put a little red on the day night, the wording day night also. <clears throat> Isn't this series a structural? No, no, no. It's just for looks. That's all it is. People say I waste my time, but you know what? I don't give a damn. I could do this with a little brush or whatever. You know what? I refuse to change. I refuse to change to appease people. Sorry, I can't do that. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. This is me. This is how I am. I'm outspoken. I speak my mind. I tell you how it is. 
I have a problem with you, I'll tell you. Some people just can't handle the truth. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. See how I did that? I'm telling you, man, I cracked myself up. Yeah, this world's gone too soft. Sorry. It's true. Just added a little bit of color. It'll look better when I get done. So now, once we are finished with the bottom, clean that up, we're going to take Venetian cream. Okay. See that? And then we're going to just basically apply it to the surface of the leather. I'm going to wipe this down with a very light damp water, right? Just get rid of that dust and stuff. And we're going to apply that. I usually do it with my fingers, you know, just rubbing on there. Come back and buff it. Buff it, buff it real good. And you're going to have a nice clean surface. All right, let's continue. We are done. Not too bad. I like these. These are very nice classic shoes. Day night's kind of tricky, right, with these patterns. You gotta make sure that it's centered to the shoe. It's very easy to kind of be on the right left side. Again, it happens sometimes. But I think they turned out pretty good. If you really look inside there, you'll see the red. I know, I know it's there, but it's just aesthetics, right? Hey, it is what it is. It's the way I want to do it. I mean, I do it like it's my own shoe, you know? So, sometimes I care about the shoe more than the customer does, you know? All right, put the insoles in. All right, well, thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate you guys uh, coming along. Now, I thought it was going to be like a five-minute video. I think it's more like, you know, two hours video. I don't know yet. I haven't edited it yet, so I'm not sure how long it is, but whatever it is, it's okay. So do me a favor and hit that button and subscribe. I think it would be really cool if my subscription goes up a little bit. I never knew about subscriptions before, but I'm starting to learn that, hey, it's important to have subscribers. You know? So, all you 76 percenters, come on now. Let's lower that number to like 0%. I mean like 0% who don't subscribe. Well, you know what I mean. It's too early. Come on. Alright. So, once this insole... The easiest part of the job is becoming stubborn. <sighs> hey, now it's in its place. Is it? Whatever. It'll be all right. Okay. Again, share, comment, what you want. If you want to email me about a certain job, that's Beto's, B-E-D-O-S at Yahoo.com. All right. We'll see you again next time.